Along with the celebration of the sun gods, the Scandinavians also worshipped this god called Odin. He was the god of intoxicating drink, ecstasy, as well as the god of death. And because of the Feast of Saturnalia dealing with all those things, he naturally became uh, the most popular god of the Feast of Saturnalia, uh, which was a sun god, which we can trace all the way back to Baal himself. Guess who this character became? Look at him very carefully. What does he look like? The colors are wrong, but this guy became Santa Claus. That's right. Odin, or Woden, was the god of wisdom, magic, and occult knowledge, runes, poetry, and war. His name meant the inspired one. He was a tall, old man that had a long white beard and carried a spear or a crozier. He traveled around the world on a white horse that had eight legs, Okay, which was an ancient... A tradition, the number of transportation. This is where the eight reindeer came from. Now you might say, Jim, there's nine. Originally, there was eight. Rudolph was added in modern times. There was eight reindeer, and it comes from the white horse that Odin traveled around on that had the eight legs. You can look up all of this stuff as very a common knowledge on the internet, in encyclopedias, you can see Odin and, and all the reference material that goes with it. By the 1500s in Holland, there he became Sinterklaas, okay? So Saint Nicholas turned into Sinterklaas, a kind and wise old man with a white beard, white dress, red cloak, a crozier, and he r rode on the skies and the roofs of the houses on his white horse, accompanied by his blackjacks, leaving gifts for people under his sacred tree, the fir tree. He would visit you on his birthday, December 25th, of course, and give you gifts if you've been good, or if you've been bad, his blackjacks would beat you. By the year 1700, a Dutchman immigrated to North America, brought his Santa Claus with him. The English dialect was then changed to Santa Claus. In 1930, a designer for the Coca-Cola company was trying to get people in the, in the wintertime to buy their drink. So they took their company colors of red and white, borrowed the Santa Claus story, changed a few things, and out came the modern Santa Claus, complete with reindeer and elves. So that 1930 designer borrowed a picture from, the, I think it was the 1800s, and modernized it, added the colors, and out came the Coca-Cola Coca -Cola Santa Claus that we see today, complete with the long white beard and chubby cheeks and the red and white suit.